what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, happy Monday. I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend or whenever you're watching this, I hope you've had a good couple of days. Um, what I thought I would talk about today is a very big partnership that was announced uh, this last week between eBay and Watch Anista. Um, this was a very big move uh, within the watch world. I told you that, you know, in, in my video where I talked about Hodinkee and Crown and Caliber, uh, when I talked about kind of their um, merger or acquisition, uh, I said that there's probably gonna be some, some partnerships, some contraction within the watch industry. And I think this is, it's not really a, a, an acquisition or anything like that, but it's definitely big uh, watch uh, companies or watch, um, big parts of the watch world kind of coming together and creating partnerships that would benefit both of them. And I think this is um, just the start. I think there's going to be a lot more of this happening as we continue on through this next year. Um, recessions typically lead to these types of things. And uh, when the um, when COVID, um, COVID had such a massive impact on on uh, this industry. And so I think this is something that um, we're going to be seeing a lot more of. If you don't know who Watch Anista is, Watch Anista is a um, online magazine that um, focuses on the editorial side of watches. Um, they have made a point to not sell watches because they want to make sure that they keep the editorial side and the retail side kind of separate. They do some really great things. Um, their Instagram is really interesting if you don't follow them there. They've got some really cool watches that they cover and some of it is, is a little bit more opinionated which I think is also kind of cool. Um, they have partnered with eBay. Um, if you don't know, eBay is a, um, technically it's an online auction platform where you can list or list um, goods that you wanna sell and um, it goes on to this online auction that um, ends up, uh, you know, you end up selling it, but you can also, on the flip side, you can buy, participate in some of these auctions and the watch section of eBay is quite large. Um, they've really gone and changed a lot of the things that they're doing. And so I think this is another kind of part of their maybe journey to become a little bit more of a safer place to sell watches at. Um, I think this is maybe another one of those steps. The reason why I say that is um, over the last year or so, um, eBay has kind of started to do um, more authenticating of watches. I think there's a certain dollar threshold. I want to say it's over a thousand US dollars. Um, where the watches will be sent to one of their, I guess, authorized um, watchmakers and they end up uh, author, uh, authenticating these watches before it's um, sent to the to the new owner. And so what happens is, say I'm selling a watch uh, and it's over $1,000, I think that's the threshold. It'll be sent to one of their authorized dealers. They'll do um, an authentication um, and then they will um, ship that watch. Once they've done the authentication, they'll send it to, to, the, to the end, um, I guess the auction winner. Um, you get a, a really nice um, authentication guaranteed card from eBay. And so it allows, it kind of makes it a little bit safer for the person who's buying the watches to say, hey, I know that this is an authentic piece. Um, on the flip side, if you're a seller and it goes to the authentic, uh, through the authentication process, it also allows for you to actually have a, a specific policies. You, you know, you can't, if you don't wanna have returns on the watches that you sell, you can basically say, no, we don't accept returns. And if it goes through the authentication process and is authenticated as genuine, then, then there's really no argument for that, for, that um, for, for, the, for the buyer. And so this move to kind of partner with Watch Anista is really focused on the content side of um, the watch world. So Watch Anista is going to start creating content um, for eBay and um, kind of advise on, on the types of content that they should be releasing. I think this is another play for eBay to kind of um, one, show that they're, they are a real player within the watch market and also acquire capability that they may not have in their current line of operations, which is pretty obvious. They don't do content creation, but I think partnering with, with Watch Anista, which is one of the leading brands in, in the editorial side of the watch industry. Um, I think that is um, their effort to try and uh, try and get that capability of let's create content that will hopefully, um, you know, maybe uh, legitimize the watch market on eBay and then perhaps move into, uh, you know, entertaining, um, entertaining possible consumers. 
I think this is a, a very interesting move because so when you think about eBay as a platform, it's really private sellers who are selling those selling watches uh, to other uh, private sellers. It isn't really like eBay with all of these watches. They are taking those watches and putting them on, on their website and you know eBay is not the, the person who's kind of who has all those watches. It's really private sellers. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how private sales and content, uh, you know, how those kind of come together. Because as an example, um, I know that, uh, uh, let's say, Govberg Watches, they sell watches on eBay, right? But Govberg Watches is not creating content on Watchinista, if that makes sense. So it's going to be interesting to see how those kind of come together. Um, I don't know if maybe this is a move by eBay to say, let's not only take the commission side of the auction market as one of our income streams but perhaps they'll actually start finding watches that they want to sell as a as a company i think that'll be an interesting move by them um and i you know who knows if that's that's in their plan but i think that would make logical sense as to why you would create content and also kind of run the the, the watch side of, of eBay. Obviously, the watch, watches are only a, a, a part of, of what eBay sells, but um, from my perspective, it would be weird that they would be creating content for private sellers, unless they have big partners, like I think Gothberg has a pretty big partnership with with eBay, so maybe you know that's uh, some sort of part of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense for Watchinista to create content for private sellers when really Watchinista is their own kind of private private entity. In their announcement, um, in their announcement post, they said, you know, um, it's important noting that like you know Watchinista is not uh, is is, is eBay is not like joining Watchinista as a as a brand or a retail partner. It really has to do with um, creating a relationship around uh, the content that they want to. Uh, create and, and, and the, the social the, the, the social media aspect of it. They also wanted to make sure that it's known that they're not going to be selling watches so um, they are keeping uh, keeping the content and the, the, the selling the retail side of things um, very very separate. A lot of the times when these partnerships happen, um, people question the independence of the content that specific brands would be uh, putting out and so you know one of the things that they also mentioned was you know they are th their editorial independence is kind of how they how they um, describe their this section of the of the announcement post you know they uh, eBay is not going to be controlling the content they, that they create watching is going to have autonomy over what they want to create the topics that they cover the brands and so it's really going to be driven by them um, as far as you know, uh, kind of what what I think about it, I think this is another move of where the watch world is shrinking slowly, um, and and I think for the better. I think that you know sometimes the market gets a little bit saturated with so many different players, and I think this is um, larger brands concentrating on um, core competencies that they want to drum home within the within the industry and. Um, and really create their place in the market as opposed to having to compete on many many different fronts um, i don't know what the partnership looks like if it's like you get a certain stake for every you, you know they maybe have like a stake in the in the business or perhaps it has to do with like you'll be paid by the the content that the that you um that you release i don't know really how the how the partnership's working um but again i, I i'm i'm always worried when when large entities within the watch world come together because it really it gives the, these ent entities a little bit more control over the markets that they play in right the, the the sectors that they that they that they play in so we'll see what happens i think it's going to be an interesting move and i'm, I'm pretty excited to see what happens um, i should say congratulations watchanista and ebay for, for this partnership i wish you all the best in in the future and i look forward to seeing how the relationship kind of develops and and, and where it goes so uh, congratulations if you guys have any thoughts on this partnership, be sure to leave in the comments section. I'd love to hear what you think about the partnership uh, between Watchinista and eBay, but also general um, 
contraction within the watch market. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So be sure to leave a comment. Also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we create videos about watches, just about any topic you can think of. So um, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification, um, the bell icon so you're notified when we upload. And if you did not do it in the beginning of the video, and I didn't say it this time, but you should know if you are a loyal supporter of Life on the Wrist, be sure to smash that like button for us. It really does help us out. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.